Okay, FAQ number 96. We're back to these again. I have a few more I'm going to do, and then I'm going to be done with these FAQ videos. Um, the question comes up, is, is the correct uh, word Yahweh or Jehovah? I get this one pretty frequently. So what I'm going to show you here is an article by David Daniels at uh, Chick.com. It says, question, why doesn't the King James Bible always translate Yahweh as Jehovah? Answer, you expressed a concern about the following statement by Gail Ripplinger. She says here, now we are seeing a parallel move within the new Bible versions where it's not Jehovah anymore, it's just Lord. It's not Jesus Christ, it is just the Christ. You are correct that the KJV uses Lord to translate the divine name in most instances. However, there are seven instances in which the KJV translators used Jehovah for very specific reasons. Gail Ripplinger actually was correct that modern Bibles have removed Jehovah in these seven instances, and they have, like the NIV. Uh, the KJV translators used the name Jehovah under the name Yahweh, or whenever the name Yahweh was found under one of the following three conditions. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to read this whole thing. You can read the article. You can go. I'll leave the link to it down in the description box. But, uh, you know, for sake of time, these are short answers to people's questions. Um, you know, Again, we have this situation where uh, why would the translators say it a certain way? Well, because I believe God directed them. I don't believe that the King James Bible was re-inspired or somehow whatever. You know, I believe it was preserved down through the centuries as inspired copies, and then the translation itself was inspired because of that inspiration that goes back through. Not because it was somehow newly inspired or something. It's just that it was providentially preserved, and that that inspiration carried through those Greek manuscripts and some of the other translations that preceded the King James, and then the King James itself. God's stamp of approval is upon this book, in other words. And again, you say, but, but I think it could have been translated, okay, then throw out the King James Bible. See, what's your final authority? My final authority when I stand up and I preach and I teach people the Word of God, it's this King James Bible. I don't say, well, I believe the King James Bible except for where it says Jehovah, it should be Yahweh. No. And my speech is, is founded upon this book. This book says Jehovah. I don't say Yahweh. Okay. Um, I believe it's Jehovah is the, the correct one there. And, you know, I look at the thing and, and I look at it and I see three syllables there. Jehovah. Uh, there's three within the Godhead. You know. But Yahweh is only two, which is why I think a lot of Jews would probably that reject Jesus Christ, I should say. That's why they're saying Yahweh, because it leaves out part of uh, the Godhead. So for me personally, I say Jehovah. Why? Because my Bible says it. That's pretty much how I'd answer that one. 